Hello everyone, today we will review together a standout cinematic piece about a magical bean that, when in contact with water, grows into a portal leading to another world. It's an incredibly fascinating movie. The man looked forward with fear and buried his head in the water, then a big foot appeared in front of him, the sheep on the ground were scared to death, the next second, he was caught by the giant and sent into the mouth, look at the front of the eye, Jack was shocked, I'm hiding under the water. I dare not make a sound, hiding behind the tree, the man looked back in fear, I didn't expect to be noticed by the giant, he walked straight to the man behind him, he cut off the tree he was hiding from, the man was scared to death, the giant chased up with one step, a slap to the man down. The man was scared to death, seeing this situation, the general who was hiding next to him rushed up to rescue, but the giant stepped away, the last two were taken away by the giant. Jack was scared to look at everything that happened in front of him, I didn't expect the legend to be true, 200 years ago in Shangchuan, a group of monks wanted to see God. They sowed beans on the ground, they grow out of the sky, to the place where God is, but they didn't expect to be in the world in heaven, there is a giant island, there is this bridge that leads to the city, the giant is like a worm crossing the mirror, they destroy buildings and devour humans, burn, kill, devour, do no harm, finally, the monks built a crown that could control the giant's mind with the heart of the giant, the king took the crown and sent the giants back to the river, prisoned in the world, then he ordered people to cut off the bean mirror, cut off the connection between giants and humans, that's how humans have lived a peaceful life for 200 years, until this day, by chance, the civilian Jack accidentally got a devil, a bald man asked him to help send the beans back to the monastery, and told him, don't let the beans get wet, at this time, Jack didn't know it was a devil, he took the beans home, he plans to send them to the monastery, tomorrow morning, who knows, a bean fell into the floor secretly. In the gap, it rained heavily in the sky at night, the princess went to his house, I didn't expect the devil to get in the rain, a huge vine grew out of the ground, the house of Jack's family was torn apart, Jack fell out of the door in a violent shake, falling down along the vine. And the princess was carried by the vine into the cloud, the next morning, when he woke up, he was surrounded by the king's army, Jack told him, about what happened last night, the king immediately sent the army to lead a small team, set off to rescue the princess, they climbed all day and night. Finally arrived, at this time, walked to the last lock, suddenly caught up with Jack, threatened him to hand over the devil, Jack had no choice but to do it, finally, the lock also threatened him, if you tell me, kill his father, although so, the smart Jack also secretly left a beam, and hid it in the hangar in front of his chest, then when a few people walked deep into the island, suddenly I heard a huge step from afar, everyone went to hide somewhere, so it happened, the scene where Jack was killed, in order to save the two, Jack quietly followed the giant, at the same time, so and his men came to the cliff, pushed the other king's men down, just when the two thought the plan was done, suddenly a giant hands the men up. A bite bit his head, not until the lock has reacted, another giant climbed up from the cliff, he didn't run away, it's just a flurry of what's in the backpack, just when the giant was about to take action, he took out a crown from his backpack, on the other side. The general and his men were taken back to the giant's school, the princess was also locked up here, they ate the men, when they were about to attack the general, I believe that distinction now belongs to me, so this is the crown made up of the heart of the giant, as long as the crown appears, all giants have to surrender, so based on this power for a long time, he ordered the giants to grind weapons to fight, he's going to rule the world with the power of giants, and the princess and the general were given a giant for dinner, this giant is not easy, he is the top chef of the giant kingdom, he just threw a human on the skin, sprinkle with seasoning and roll into a roll, put it next to two pigs, then the excitement came, the giant took out the pig's pen and prepared to fix the ingredients, the pig's pen was stuck in two pigs, he died instantly, this one scared the general to death, fortunately, the pig's pen was not stuck, then the giant took the plate away. I didn't notice the hiding Jack, while the giant was rolling the meat into the oven, Jack quietly climbed on the rack, waiting for the right time, then the giant cut a handful of coriander, the eyes looked at the princess, just when he was about to cut the meat, Jack pulled out a sharp knife from the rack, throw it down, in the back of the giant, the giant was in pain, on the other side, the general also escaped from the oven with a small knife, out, in the end. The giant was stabbed in the neck by the knife, can't get up, then the three of them went out of the forest, ready to escape from the giant's island, unexpectedly, the cunning Zui, I've long been sent to block the entrance of the small island, in order to drive away the giant. Jack and the general found a piece of horse wind, while the giant was sleeping, pull his mask, throw the wind into the nest, not a moment of kung fu, the giant was in a panic, his hands were waving, unexpectedly, a step of the spirit fell down, the few were not sure of the result. After the illusion, they were ready to set off, but the general entrusted the princess to Jack, he's gonna stay and get rid of the Zui, a call, on the other side, the giant was watching the fall, the king made a painful decision, to protect the peace of the world, he ordered to cut off the tent in advance, never give the giant a chance to come down, 
after waiting for a day and a night, so he finally came to the shore, just when he was about to send his order. The general suddenly attacked from behind, the two turned around and fell into the cave. Take a moment, after a fight in the cave, so he pushed the general to the cliff, he took the knife and stabbed the general in the hand, just when he was in a good mood, the general stabbed him in the chest with a knife. So he crawled up with his injured body, he eventually died in the cave, just when the general was about to get the crown, a giant came down, he took away the body of the Zui, and he took the crown in his own hands. At this time, the tent was shaking, the general jumped up in a flash. And then he got off the giant's path, it turns out that the soldiers down there had cut off the roots of the tent, the giant fell to the ground, Jack and the princess jumped into a grass to save the top of the tent, he jumped into the castle and escaped, just when the giants were about to give up. I found the bag that Zui dropped, it was filled with beans, the giant immediately scattered it to the river. As the water pushed, the giant tent broke out at once, at this time, the king was still immersed in the joy of reuniting with his daughter, it is unknown that danger is coming. As the horn was blown, countless giants began to meet again, they climbed the tent, forcibly pushed the tent that grew all day long down, they can't wait to taste the taste of human flesh, at this time, Jack, who is feeding the horse, sees the reflection in the water, immediately the horse to chase the king's team, he ran wild and shouted, not until the king heard. The giant army has appeared in the rear, they can fly a flag in one punch, pull down the surrounding buildings as weapons, the king in front of you immediately speed up, back to the castle in advance, the general is now in a tight corner, the soldiers are ready for battle. He ordered a large amount of fuel to pour into the castle, when the king and others rushed up the bridge, immediately ordered to launch a rocket, the river instantly lit up, then ordered to collect the bridge, not to let the giant leader follow Jack's footsteps, hold the edge of the bridge, the soldiers immediately fired his bow and arrow, the giant leader was shot in the eye, fall into the castle, gradually swallowed by the fire, not everyone was happy. Two huge iron hooks hooked the bridge, the two sides held a tug of war, but it wasn't a long-term plan, the king immediately arranged his daughter and Jack to go to the top of the castle to light the lighthouse, not to let the giant leader know that the giant leader was dead, the two jumped into the waterway, walked through the barrier back to the castle, suddenly the ground shook, the giant leader was the one who was the giant leader, he didn't die, he ran away from the waterway, he was smelling the princess's scent, searching around the room, the two hiding under the stools were shaking, on the other side. In order to guard the bridge, the king sent out a giant cannon car. All the soldiers fought to the end of the battle. The king's army was able to defend the homeland, the cunning giant ignited the uncle, throw a bomb into the wall, and the archers with hammers attacked the walls, the king's soldiers were badly injured, the bridge was soon attacked by the giant, the general immediately ordered people to close the iron gate. This is their last defense line, but no matter how hard the iron gate is, it's not easy to open in front of the giant, the king led everyone to guard the castle, ready to die, at this time, the castle building was suddenly broken by a huge tower, it turned out that there was a big war in the castle. The princess and Jack were caught by the giant leader, at a critical moment, Jack threw the devil and the necklace into the giant's mouth, a huge vine grows out of his body, break through the castle, when everyone was in a daze, the other side of the giant threw weapons, kneeling on the ground. It turned out that Jack had taken back the magic crown, in the end, the giants returned to their territory. The farmer boy also lived a life of no repair and no sweep with the princess, 